Welcome to Chart Gantt Effort and Cost. This tool has been developed to enable you to schedule by effort uh, by setting a relationship between effort and duration. So we have a wider planning window here than we have in the other tools because there's additional columns in terms of percentage of full-time equivalent allocation, duration, uh, cost, etc. which aren't in, in any of the other tools. Um, the layout is we enter our task information here, some of our control parameters and viewing parameters are set up here and um, here's our Gantt chart drawn on our right for us. So we can change the project start date. The, the flexibility with the, the dates in this tool mean that you can uh, use it for many, many projects over an extended period of time. So let's uh, move this to the 1st of the 11th, 11. Um, sorry, that should have been 11. And we, our weekends are automatically identified here for us. We can plan either in, in um, work days, which the system's working out on our behalf, um, or just in terms of days themselves. Okay, uh, we can view our planning window by day, uh, by week, which is showing us the week ending information, um, or by month. Okay, so let's go in and actually plan out a, a project now. Uh, so we can just enter our project title here. Um, we can enter a, a subtitle um, there. We enter our task descriptions here. So I'll just copy that down. One of the benefits of working in Excel is the speed of, of doing things like duplicating task automation, etc. Um, we're going to create a task start date. Uh, so let's just set this equal to um, the start of our plan plus one. Uh, again, you can't do things like that in project. Um, let's say this task is, is five days of effort and our FTE allocation is um, 25%. Okay, so that's now been planned out for us. So what that's saying is our five day task is gonna take us uh, effectively 20 work days to complete. And um, it's probably slightly off your screen there. So if we just flick to a weekly view, uh, we can see exactly how that long how long that task is taking us. Um, so let's just plan out a series of tasks. We can add dependencies between our, our tasks. Um, I might as well use the same information here uh, as it is above. And we'll just drag that down for our planned out tasks. Now, if we create dependencies, we do that by setting the dependent task number. So you can either enter the number here or um, I just prefer to do equals that task and select the type of dependency we want. So we want to finish start. So that task has now uh, moved out as a finish start. Again, we can um, copy those down with the power of Excel. And there's our project plan um, scheduled out. So any slippages or what have you in our initial task, or we could say that our FTE allocations actually uh, changed to, um, to 90% for some reason. Um, we can see what impact that has on, on the project plan instantly and all of the subtasks move in line with that. So particularly for planning um, um, service-based activities or proposals or what have you, the ability to automatically calculate cost, um, automatically calculate duration based on the days of effort. Again, we could switch between planning in weekdays or just days. And if we're planning in days, that, that means we're working um, working on the weekends. So thanks for considering chart gain effort and cost. Uh, we think it's one of the most powerful planning tools available in Excel and uh, we hope you agree. So best of luck with your uh, purchase decision. Thank you.